memories, and the memories bring back, memories bring back your. There's a time that I remember when I did not know no pain. When I believed in forever, everything would stay the same. Now my heart feels like December. Will somebody say your name? Cause I can't reach out to call you, but I know I will one day. Yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright, gonna raise a glass and say yeah. Here's to the ones that we got, cheers to the wish you were here But you're not, cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here tonight, toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories and the memories bring back memories bring back your memories bring back memories bring back your there's a time that I remember when I never felt so lost and I fell in love with hatred was too bad for the stars now my heart feels like an ember and it's not enough to die Carries torches for ya, and you know I never try. Yeah, everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday. Yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright. Gonna raise a glass and say, yeah. Here's to the ones that we got. Cheers to the wish you were here, but you're not. Cause the dreams bring back all the memories of everything we've been through. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the drinks bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones that we made Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the drinks bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your there's a time that I remember When I did not know no pain When I believed in forever Everything will stay the same Now my heart feels like December When somebody say your name Cause I can't reach out to call you But I know I will one day yeah. Everybody hurts sometimes Everybody hurts someday yeah, yeah. But everything gon' be alright Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones in the day Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back, memories bring back your
of everything we've been through. Toast to the ones here today. Toast to the ones that we lost on the way. Cause the drinks bring back all the memories. And the memories bring back memories, bring back your. There's a time that I remember when I did not know no pain. When I believed in forever, everything will stay the same. Now my heart feels like December. When somebody say your name, cause I can't reach out to call you. I know I will one day. Everybody hurts sometimes. Everybody hurts someday. But everything will be alright. Here's to the ones that we got Cheers to the wish you were here but you're not Cause the dreams bring back all the memories Of everything we've been through Toast to the ones here today Toast to the ones that we lost on the way Cause the dreams bring back all the memories And the memories bring back memories bring back your There's a time that I remember when I never felt so lost. I felt the love, the hatred, was too powerful to stop. Oh, yeah. Now my heart feels like an ember, and it's not enough to die. I'll carry these torches for you, but you know I'll never try. Yeah. Oh, everybody hurts sometimes, everybody hurts someday. Nora Ephron penned the words, and I quote, Your education is a dress rehearsal for a life that is yours to lead. End quote. The vulnerable Michael Marshall, manager of the Anglican High School, members of the AHS Board of Management, Mrs. Carleen Avon Marshall, District 4 Education Officer, Ms. Roselle Grant, our featured speaker this morning, President of the Anglican High School PTA Teachers Association, Mr. Monty Greenwich and Mrs. Greenwich, Mr. Dominic Jeremiah, President of the Grenada Association of Principals of Secondary Schools, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, and Ms. Madeline Batiste, past principals, Mr. Biddle and family, other distinguished guests, principal, Ms. Kim Paris, and staff of the Anglican High School, parents, guardians of the 2022 graduating class, past teachers, past pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School, who are present with us and those of you viewing online, the 2022 graduating class of the AHS. A warm welcome to you all. I am Mrs. Shamika Street, your chairperson for this morning's graduation and award ceremony. As we gather as AHS family to celebrate the accomplishments of the graduating class of 2022 on the team achieving success through perseverance progressively bettering your best i urge you to silence your phones make yourself comfortable and enjoy the celebrations as we share in this momentous experience with our graduates i now invite archdeacon michael marshall to open today's ceremony in prayer
Can we stand, please? The Lord be with you. Shall we bow our heads as we reverence God in today's ceremony? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, you are the fountain of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The very source of our existence, we come to you with much gratitude for life and the opportunity you give us each day to love and serve you. God, I thank you for today a day of tremendous joy and celebration for the Anglican High School and particularly the graduating class of 2022, their family and friends. I am grateful for your unfailing love and guidance to the principal, staff and those who have nurtured and created a solid foundation on which these graduates can now build as they prepare for the next step. I offer thanks for the success of their journey. I thank you for granting them guidance, direction, and the strength and endurance throughout their journey. Lord, I commit their tomorrows to you. Take away fear, take away doubt, take away anxiety, and grant them the strength and confidence needed to persevere despite challenges. As you have led in the past, led now, lead us now in the future. Give them focus and clarity and a calling from your understanding, their purpose, and the courage to respond and step towards that purpose as they strive for their personal best in every endeavor. Mighty God, raise up greatness within their lives. Greatness in this generation to bring honor and glory to you. And now, loving Father, I ask your blessing upon this sermon and each person who will participate. May all that we experience together this morning remind us of your grace and your favor. The Lord's Prayer, our Father, who art in heaven. Thank you, Archdeacon. You may be seated. To give an official welcome to you all, I now invite G.L. Patterson to the podium. Let's welcome G.L. of the clergy, members of the Anglican High School Board of Management, Mrs. Curdian Avon Marshall, District 4 Education Officer, Ms. Roselle Grant, our featured speaker this morning, President of the Anglican High School Parent Teachers Association, Mr. Monte Greenwich and Mrs. Greenwich, Mr. Dominic Jeremiah, President of the Grenada Association of Principals of Secondary Schools, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, and Ms. Madeline Batiste, past principals. Other distinguished guests, Mrs. Shamika Street, chair of today's ceremony, staff of the Anglican High School, parents and guardians of the 2022 graduating class, past teachers, pupils, 
friends of the Anglican High School who are not present and those viewing online, and the 2022 graduating class. Today marks a momentous occasion in the lives of all those gathered in this auditorium, especially those under the cap. I am delighted to welcome those of you who have been with us for a long time, as well as those of you who are new to the institution, and to all those joining us online and around the globe to celebrate the achievements of our graduating students. And to you, my dear graduates, I extend my warmest welcome. Let us start with the obvious, the result. You all successfully completed your secondary tenure. We all tend to look quickly at the results achieved, check, and on to new adventures, new challenges. There's nothing wrong with that, but if we want to learn from past achievements, we should take a moment to look at what led to our achievements. Observing you, dear graduates, many of your skills and qualities come to life. First, you must have made good use of your talents and made many smart decisions throughout your life. Secondly, you certainly showed courage. And so, you have reached this milestone here today because of all the people you are related to who helped you keep going. Your family, your friends, your colleagues, our faculty, and our staff. Let us take a moment to thank them and the Anglican High School for standing by you during the ups and downs along the way. You did it. Yes, we did. We did it. Yes, we did. And today, it's all about us. And it's that. I do hope you enjoy the ceremony. Once again, I say to you, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, GL, for your inviting words of welcome. The scripture reading for today is taken from the book of James, chapter one, verses two to four. And we now invite Kelana Noel to read from the Word. Count it all joy, my brethren, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Kamal. As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another, as good stewards of God's very grace. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 10. We now invite Bernie Lewis, one of our graduates, to share her talent in song. Let's welcome Bernie.
since we last saw each other. But now it's time for us to inform you of all that you have missed. So let us welcome our principal, Ms. Kim Paris, to deliver the principal's report. Good Management, Mrs. Colleen Avon Marshall, District 4 Education Officer, Ms. Rosa Grant, our featured speaker this morning, President of the Anglican High School Parent Teachers Association, Mr. Monty Greenwich and Mrs. Greenwich, 
Mr. Dominic Jeremiah, President of Grenada Association of Principals of Secondary Schools, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, and Ms. Madeline Matisse, past principals, Mr. Martin Bedeau and family, other distinguished guests, Mr. Shamika Street, Chair of today's ceremony, staff of the Anglican High School, parents, guardians of the 2022 graduating class, past teachers, pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School who are present and those viewing online, 2022 graduating class. Pleasant morning and happy Wednesday to you. It is my honor to deliver the school's report on behalf of management, staff, and achievers of the Anglican High School. The past years have not been without their unique challenges. However, by God's grace, we made it through. And today, we are here to celebrate the accomplishment of these 118 smart, resilient young ladies. Noteworthy were your experiences with industrial action, COVID-19 pandemic, and its resulting irregular structure of school as you knew it, along with missed avenues for physical and competitive engagement. Though there were moments of sorrow, despair, and failures, there were also moments of joy, hope, and successes. Through it all, graduates, you were consistently reminded of the need to persevere in order to achieve success. The theme for today's exercise speaks of achieving success through perseverance, progressively bettering your best. I take this opportunity to remind you to always, always strive for excellence. A gentleman known as Pele, who is widely considered to be one of the greatest footballers in history, once said, success is no accident. Rather, it is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrificing, and most of all, love of what you're doing or learning to do. Always remember that great rewards are usually the results of great sacrifices. You have certainly made numerous sacrifices during the last three years at our institution, with all the adjustments you are required to make while experiencing the new normal. It is important to note that these experiences contributed to shaping and preparing you for the uncertainties of life. There were teachable moments. We are hopeful that your experiences as members of the Anglican High School family have enabled you to be assertive, honest, confident, resilient, courageous, loyal, and productive citizens, as is the mission of the Anglican High School. Thus far, you have done well, and we are extremely proud of you. Let us put our hands together as we recognize the significant milestones of our graduates. <laughs> Parents, grad gardens, I extend hearty congratulations to you for the countless sacrifices you have made for your daughter award over the years. All in an effort to create a better future and the realization of a day like today. You must be commended for the cooperation, patience, understanding, and time you have provided over the years. We at AHS are extremely grateful for your support 
and the confidence you have placed in us over the years. Let us put our hands together for our parents and guardians. <laughs> to the teaching staff of AHS, your depiction of hard work, team spirit, commitment, and diligence as teachers is appreciated by me, and I wish to publicly acknowledge your efforts. Though you had your personal challenges, such as illness, loss of loved ones, and extended periods of uncertainty, you were there. You made the calls to parents. You reprimanded for SBAs. You extended deadline periods. Listened to sad stories. Held late night and weekend classes cried with students and celebrated success. You were there. Thank you for being there. Similarly, I extend appreciation to all members of the non-teaching staff of the school. You perform an essential role and we are eternally grateful to you. Special commendation goes out to our media committee for establishing a responsible AHS social media presence. To the Staff Welfare Committee for consistently boosting staff morale. And to the Graduation Committee for their commitment and diligence in organizing today's events. Let us recognize staff members with a round of applause. There is a high level of collaboration which exists among members of our school's community. And we appreciate the contribution made by all stakeholders. To the governing body, led by Chairman Archdeacon Michael Marshall, thank you for your leadership and guidance. To the Ministry of Education, through the Minister of Education, Chief Education Officer, District Education Officer, Curriculum Officers, and other support staff. We will continue to work together to ensure quality education for all our achievers. I make special mention, I must make special mention of two of our past principals, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis OBE and Ms. Madeline Matisse for their continued support. To Mrs. Pansy Hostin, thank you. You keep the rivalry of sports alive at AHS. To all our past teachers who willingly provide assistance to us at AHS, we are truly appreciative of you. A depth of gratitude is owed to our active past pupils in the USA, Canada, and at home. Since the name on the list is very long, I will err on the side of caution and avoid calling names. Please note that some names are listed in our program and others will be shared on our Facebook page. A special, resounding, heartfelt thank you is extended to all past pupils who provided support towards today's graduation ceremony. And let us put our hands together for our past pupils, please. <laughs> to our Parent Teachers Association, we extend our sincerest appreciation to Mr. Andy Murray, former president, and his executive members and welcome Mr. Monty Greenwich, our new president and executive members. Your contribution towards the development of the members of the AHS family is invaluable. Now, during the year under review, the academic year 2021 to 2022 ended with 16 forms altogether and a total of 604 achievers. We welcome 
108 achievers through a virtual orientation. Two new teachers joined the staff, Mrs. Ms. Serena George and Mr. Shaloni James, for the areas of geography and mathematics, respectively, while Ms. Nayosha Cox joined as a junior champ. To date, we have 17 forms and 574 achievers on the road, with a composition of 44 teaching and 14 non-teaching staff. At HS, we are continuously endeavoring to complement our focus on academic success with the holistic development of our achievers by providing exposure to numerous extracurricular opportunities. While these exposures were severely altered by the COVID-19 pandemic, we were elated to host our COVID-19 themed schools athletic sports meet, which was a resounding success, and our interform netball competition. Additionally, our achievers were engaged in a youth parliament, the first of its kind at the school. We introduced class reps to foster greater parental involvement and introduced two categories to the principal's award for our termly mark reading exercises. We anticipate the gradual return of all our activities. Similarly, our school participated in the 2022 Intercore Games. Our athletes showcased their resilience and true sportsmanship, which resulted in the school gaining second place at the Games. Two of our achievers were nominated for the AA Lagrenard Shield and the TA Marichal Cup Award, respectively, during the year on the review. Prior to the global pandemic, our school CSET pass rate stood at 65%. From the onset of the pandemic until the present, in spite of the challenges faced, our achievers did their best to rise above the obstacles set before them. In 2020 and 2021, the pass rate stood at 70%. This graduating class, however, was in Form 3 at the time. They unfortunately endured the entirety and severity of the measures associated with this period. Teachers, parents, graduates. In spite of this, our achievers secured an overall pass rate of 67% in the 2022 CSEC exam. Yes, it's a decrease of 3%, but noteworthy is the fact that the CSEC pass rate remained above pre-COVID levels. This is what resilience looks like. This is what determination looks like. This is what it means to succeed in spite of daunting circumstances. We commend the 30 achievers who by way of performance challenge themselves to sit more than the average number of subjects and secure passes in virtually every subject they sat. Chief among them is our top performer who wrote 14 and secured 14 CXC passes. Let's put our hands together. A more comprehensive list of the top performances are found on pages 9 and 10 of the graduation program. We must commend the 88 achievers who secured five or more subject passes this year. Let's put our hands together for the 88 students, five or more subject passes. But most importantly, we must commend each and every one of you who is leaving here today with the spiritual, moral, social, 
and intellectual values we aim to uphold. Class of 2022, as I conclude, my request is that you ponder on these words by Winston Churchill. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. Continue along the path of learning, growth, and, the, and discovery as you strive to achieve success through perseverance by progressively bettering your best. I extend congratulations to you, graduates of class of 2022. The members of your Anglican High School family wish you success in all your future endeavors. I am making a special plea to you to be loyal, to be loyal to your school and to reciprocate the generosity that was extended to you when you are in a position to do so. Pay it forward. Please keep the flag of your alma mater ever high and always remember, factor non-verbal, deeds not words. May God bless you and may God continue to bless AHS. Thank you, Ms. Parent. The following vehicles are asked to please move from where you are parked. PE, sorry, P3716, P5875, PAE665, and PAZ694. The achievers at the AHS never cease to amaze us. They continue to showcase excellence at every stage in their growth. Let us put our hands together and welcome Kayla Marie, another one of our graduates on saxophone. Her instrument has changed on violence. So. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I play this song. I hope your hearts are warmly blessed.
thank you, Kayla, for such a wonderful presentation. Let's just give Kayla another hand. Our guest speaker this morning is a proud product of the Anglican High School. And who better to introduce her than another proud product of the AHS? Let us invite Winnie Gowie to the podium as she introduces our guest speaker. Ms. Roselle Grant is a proud past student of the Anglican High School. She graduated with an associate's degree in natural sciences at the T.A. Marichal Community College, followed by many employment stints while on Ireland. One most meaningful, becoming a geography and art teacher at the Greener Boys Secondary School. She has since earned her Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering from the Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago, where she served as Chapter President of the Society of Women Engineers, a member of the National Society of Black Engineers, Caribbean Visionaries Executive, and initiate of the exclusive Tau Beta Pi Engineering Honor Society, and as an IIT Black Knight. She holds a postgraduate certificate from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in Data Science and Big Data Analytics, and recently completed a postgraduate in Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence from the University of Texas at Austin, a field of newfound passion. While still an engineering student, she started her professional training in the pulp and paper industry at the Midwest Vaco Company in Southeast Texas where she returned full-time after graduating. A change in interest landed Ms. Grant as an engineer at the notable Tesla Automotive. This cooperation has successfully executed its vision of creating the most compelling car company of the 21st century by driving the world's transition to electric vehicles. During her half-decade tenure, she was directly involved in developing and implementing the company's manufacturing equipment and processes for the Model 3, Semi-Truck, Model Y, and new generation inverters at Tesla's US, Germany, and Shanghai Digger factories. She has also led and mentored many engineers by maximizing their potential at the company. Ms. Grant currently holds the professional title of Senior Manufacturing Engineer at Rivian Automotive the world's first company to bring electrical pickup trucks to full-scale production. Here, she facilitates all manufacturing activities of the firm's premier in-house build status for its drive unit assembly. The company's motto, to keep the world adventurous forever, directly aligns with Ms. Grant's leisure and lifestyle activities. Her most recent passion project is an investment in a young and promising medical technology com com company whose founder and CEO is a fellow, fellow Caribbean IIT student and friend. Medial Health is a technology startup based in New York, building health technology SAAS products focused on making healthcare more efficient in the Caribbean. Her life to date has been abundant in adventure on both personal and professional fronts. An avid explorer who finds pilots and planes just as excited as scuba diving in the ocean. She takes advantage of the outdoors but also enjoys her at-home solitude. Though an engineer by training, she appreciates human psychology and emotional intelligence. She acknowledges both her personal strengths and shortcomings and hopes to inspire others to be cognizant of their capacity for improvement while capitalizing on opportunities presented to them. such an eloquently read introduction. I'll try my best to do justice to the precedence you set. 
the Venerable Michael Marshall, manager of the Anakin High School, members of the AHS Board of Management, Mrs. Colleen Aban Marshall, District 4 Education Officer, President of the Anakin High School Parent Teachers Association, Mr. Monty Greenwich and Mrs. Greenwich, Mr. Dominic Jeremiah, President of the Grenada Association of Principals of Secondary Schools, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, and Ms. Batiste, Ms. Madeline Batiste, past principals, other distinguished guests, Mrs. Shamika Street, Chair of today's ceremony, staff of the Anakin High School, parents, guardians of the 2022 graduating class, past pupils, teachers, and friends of the Anakin High School, those both present with us and viewing online, and of course, the 2022 graduating class. It is with gratitude and humility that I get to address you today. Um, it's almost surreal looking at teachers who once taught me and past classmates from times you see who are now teachers. Um, I wonder where has the time gone? And actually now that I say it out loud, I realize that that could probably be misconstrued as me saying that we're not all very old, but that's not what I'm going for. Um, it's just, a humble reminder that time for our mortal selves is finite and perhaps our most precious commodity. And this kind of just hits home as I look upon this graduating class of 2022 as well. Although your time is indeed finite, I see infinite potential sitting in front of me. You actually remind me of everything I used to be. And I say this loosely because I'm not going to Sorry, like too long, but I'm, I'm not going to pretend that I've had all of the same experiences and challenges that you have. I was never a high school student during a global pandemic. I did not have to contend with social media during my um, early teenage years. I think I joined Facebook perhaps when I started Tam CC. I dealt with dialogue, so that means that the decision was already made for me whether I could entertain a conversation on the phone or research something online. Um, I actually use one of those cell phones where you have to hit the buttons three times to get to the third letter. I don't know if they make them like that anymore. In fact, I recently went to a computer museum and there I found my very first cell phone in museum, in a museum and that. That did something to me. Um, you know, I say this to say I acknowledge our differences. And I think now is as good a time as any for me to be honest with you. When I was first asked to address this class, my initial instinct was to say no. And my reasons were twofold. One is I do not enjoy public speaking, right? It makes me anxious. I am acutely aware of perhaps the way I look or sound or is perceived, I'm perceived. Um, I was never the type who, you know, aimed to be prime minister or CEO or the face of the show. I would much rather sit behind the scenes and pull the strings from there. Um, in fact, I had a conversation with a friend of mine before coming up here and you know, I said, what if something went wrong? What if I tripped and fell? And she said to me, you know, Roselle, if you fall, just walk it into your dance. And I think that was <laughs> perhaps the most comforting words of the day for me. Um, my second reason is that I question how I would relate to young women from a different generation. Right? I don't know you. You don't know me. Why is it that anything I would say should have merit? That said, I am always reminded of the sense of accomplishment and, and pride that I feel whenever I challenge myself to step outside of my comfort zone. So let me thank you in advance for first a listening ear, for being able to connect with you, and for having me be able to practice my approach with worlds. Um, you know, when given your theme for today's ceremony, Achieving success through perseverance, progressively bettering our best. My initial thought was then, well, what is success? And I almost wish that this was an interactive session because I am more than curious to hear what you have to say, what your parents have to say, how your teachers would define success. Um, 
you know, if there were an absolute response to this, or if there was one answer, I think I'd be up here making a one minute declaration rather than speaking from my lived experience. And I don't believe that there is one universal definition of success. I know that societal expectations sometimes perpetuate that one's success is defined by her external achievements, perhaps accolades, titles, net worth, those things. Um, for other people, success may be defined as perhaps settling down and having a family by a certain age. Then we have folks who do a 95 to survive, and for them to survive is to succeed. And then we have, of course, the people who just ignore social norms altogether, move into the woods, meditate, eat grains, and to them, that's success. Who am I to know that definition? Who are you? Who are any of us? Right? Um, as for me, success means conquering self. And you might ask, what, what does that even mean? Well, let me tell you a bit about myself. So, when it comes to getting things done, I like to get things done, of course, but I am a millennial at heart, right? And that means that I am like a river trying to get to the ocean. I want a path of least resistance, and I want to exert minimal energy. Some may find that strategic, others might find it lazy, but I am aware that that's the way I want to do things, right? And success requires a healthy awareness of self. And a healthy awareness of self includes being aware of both your unhealthy and limiting traits. You know, not even the best version of Google's AI software or Google Maps can get you to where you want to be if you don't first take stock of where you are. So assess yourself, question you about you. For instance, do you prefer the sunshine or do you prefer the rain? And I think most of us would perhaps answer that question by saying, well, it depends on what you have to do that day, right? For me, I know I get more done when it's raining outside. And when it's sunny, I just feel like I shouldn't be working, but I can't get my employer on board with that. <laughs> so I would say that. Um, now, as much as I profess to know about myself, something happened yesterday or day before when I went into the licensing office to renew my Grenadian driver's license. And the officer asked me, Fuzel or Ms. Grant, what is your blood type? And that I didn't know. Something as important as my blood type, um, I was unaware of. So I still have some things to learn about me. Um, and I think what assessment gives you is awareness. And what awareness gives you is the ability to make informed choice. So I know my tendencies, I know what makes me tick, I know what excites me and motivates me, I know what environments and tasks, and sometimes people, drain the life source from me. I understand the way that I learn, I know my strengths, and I am fully aware of what I'm terrible at. So when I'm tempted to have a Coke, but then choose to have a glass of water instead. Or when I decide to use 30 minutes of my life to learn a new language, instead of watching an episode of The King of Queens that I've seen 110 times, that to me is when I feel successful. Um, so it is when I can respond with yes to Am I exploring the potential of who I am to its fullest possibility? Am I being creative? Am I seeking? Am I satisfied with my efforts? You know, when I thought about what to wear today, because unlike you, I had a choice. Like, I was half tempted to pull up in jeans and sneakers just to exaggerate the point that success isn't synonymous with a look. But at the same time, that would be contradictory to the point I'd be trying to make, right? So, Instead, I decided to get dressed up because I spend about 70% of my time in a hard hat and a safety vest and steel toe boots. Now, should that detract from my worth? Certainly not. And my encounters over the last decade or so has taught me that some of the most brilliant minds and beautiful souls are guys in the simplest of individuals. So, Although the first thing that people 
you see is your appearance. I want you to, I want you to understand your value beyond your appearance. Now what I'm about to say may be an unpopular opinion, but my approach to most of my life's achievements, they didn't start with a clear goal in mind. Um, and what I mean is when I decided on a career path, or when I was trying to, trying to decide, I never had um, the greatest clarity on what it is that I wanted to do. I never had a target, I never had a bullseye. And I actually instead had more or a greater understanding of the things it is that I did not like, or the things that I did not want to become. For instance, let's say I knew that I never wanted to become a doctor, I knew I never wanted to become a lawyer, but I kept the rest of it open. Um, and at your age, I actually felt comfortable with not knowing. And instead of feeling pressured to become this one thing, the, the approach that I took actually left me with a world of options. So you know what I did? I did them all. Once upon a time, I worked at a bakery. As you've heard, I was once a teacher. I sold insurance. I worked at the power company. And actually, after Tam CC, I even tried unemployment. Not by choice, but that did happen. I did experience it. Um, you know, my colleagues and I sometimes joke around. And <laughs> it just so happens that one of the most successful people we know is someone who dropped out of university. However, he did so with a plan and a solid skill. So I'm not telling you to drop out of school. I'm just trying to... What I want you to get from this is I want you to give yourself the permission to try things and when they're not for you, I want you to give yourself the permission to pivot, try something else. You know, and it is that mindset of being open to new experiences which my mom always supported and although she encouraged me, I never felt this pressure to become this particular thing and I just think that that was such the gateway, that was the gateway for me to get to where I am today. Um, and that's why I ended up in teaching. I never wanted to become a teacher, but today it has been perhaps one of my most fulfilling professions. Um, so since you now have some idea of what I think success is or isn't, the question now becomes how do you obtain it? The first thing I'd say to this is there is a notion that if you strive for success, then you'll feel fulfilled. But it's quite the opposite. You seek fulfillment, then you find success. And sure, sometimes you have to settle for, you know, do that thing where you take what you get until you get what you want, of course. But there is so much to be gained when you are doing something fulfilling. And I promise you that 99.9% .9 of the time, you're able to capitalize um, on those experiences to make money. I mean, if that's what success means to you. And seeking to be competent in something you enjoy will always create opportunities. Next, I would tell you to do it scared. I think most of my life's regrets come from opportunities you know, I didn't take because of fear. Whether that be passing up on the opportunity to address a crowd or speaking up for myself or shying away from um, accepting a job because I didn't think that I was fully qualified for to, to perform the roles. You know, to maximize your potential, you can be afraid, but you cannot af allow fear to debilitate progress. Then I'd say to you that much more is gained by discipline than by motivation. Now my problem was that I, I like doing everything. And, um, but the truth is my commitment to succeeding in them or to putting in the effort to succeed in them at your age, it was weak. I lacked intrinsic motivation. I'd aimed to place first in class with an average of 99, only if I knew the person coming second would have an average of 98. And just a disclaimer here, I don't think I ever had an average of 99, but I'm just trying to make a point. Um, so if my contender, was, my contender was going to have an average of 58, then I would get a 60, just to be good enough. And I think you see where I'm going with this, right? Using others as a benchmark can be both beneficial 
and detrimental. Now it becomes detrimental when you do not maximize your potential. I mean, even today, with as, as much as I've accomplished, I still question how much more could I have contributed had I used myself as a benchmark from the get-go. Next I'd say to you is diversify your portfolio. And here I'm not speaking about money, but of course if you have money, invest it in, in different things. What I'm getting at is I would encourage you to expand your network. Not necessarily just making new friends, but more so by infiltrating different circles. You know, every class has its little niche, right? You have the back seaters, the students are the front, the students are the, the window who talk. I was that student, by the way. Um, my form teachers used to try to move me around. You know when you get moved around because you talk too much? Yeah. And it just so happened that I would, whatever click I ended up, I ended up in, they'd start speaking as well, right? So, what I think being around different people gives to you is an appreciation of different perspectives. And there's this one line from a Judy Kuhn song that says, you think that the only people who are people are the people who look and think like you. But when you walk the footsteps of a stranger, you learn things you never knew, you never knew. So explore outside of your circle. It makes integrating and assimilating into different societies that much easier. And it also helps with your art of persuasion and negotiation skills. Now on the contrary, although you must be open to different views, you have to also be cognizant of the perception of something versus the reality of what is. Now said Guru, who is one of my favorite short speakers, he gave this, uh, he told about this conversation between Sherlock Holmes and his sidekick Watson. So they went camping one night, and in the wee hours of the morning, Sherlock nudged Watson and said, Watson, you know, Watson opened his eyes and he asked Watson, what do you see? And then Watson said, I see clear skies and um, lots of stars. So then Sherlock asked Watson, well, what does that mean to you? And then Watson said, well, that means that tomorrow is going to be a, another beautiful day. Right? So then Watson turned around and asked Sherlock, well, what does that mean to you? And Sherlock said, well, it means that someone has stolen our tent. <laughs> <laughs> no, the perception held by both men may have been true, right? The sky may have indeed been beautiful and clear on that night, and maybe someone did steal their tent. I think this also illustrates that things don't always happen in silence. It's never just a this or a that. Understand that dualities exist. For instance, being scared and being confident are not necessarily mutually exclusive states. And I continue to embrace life's dualities, and I would encourage you to do the same. Next, I tell you to be deliberate, and that means being deliberate with owning your power, with owning your struggles, owning your shortcomings, owning your responsibility to improve. No, you have to be accepting of failure. You have to be willing to suck at something new. And sometimes you have to be willing to fail at something that you think you're competent at. Um, and I think the strategy here is to reframe your thinking, reframe your thinking from I'm not good enough, whenever you do fail at something, from I'm not good enough to what is this saving me from? Or what is the lesson here? You know, I'm not sure about you, but I retain more from all the answers I get incorrect in an exam, more than the answers that I, that I get correct. Um, you have to understand that success isn't always synonymous to winning. And some wise person said that greatness lies not solely in if we've won, but if we've grown. Now, I'd also say to you, be consistent. I know that this one is cliche and archaic. But I tried learning the guitar, and what I've realized is five minutes every day did more for me than two hours on a Saturday morning. So, be consistent, I mean, end of story. Next I would say, keep your head down, and just listen to what I mean by this one. So I attended the St. George's Anakan Junior and Senior Schools, uh, AKA Heinze. 
And I used to take the bus into St. George's, so I'd have to walk up Market Hill or Long Step. And the first time I had to do that, I, re I remembered saying to myself, Rosa, I'll keep your head down. Because just seeing one foot take a step in front of the other did more to motivate me than looking at the top of the hill. And when I did have to take a risk, what I did was I turned around and I enjoyed the view. <laughs> so sometimes we're so dead set on this one point or this target that we forget to you know, take note of how far we've come. Um, it is human nature to strive. This is the way we're built, right? But it's also important that you take a moment to embrace what you've already accomplished. Take the steps, but trust the process. Be okay with your timing. Now, you have to be proactive. Yes, you would have to be proactive. But you also need to be patient. And um, this, for me, I learned this lesson when I was heading off to university. So after you know, teaching and all of that, I was ready to take another step. And all of my friends and I, we all got the opportunity to attend school in Chicago. And for some reason, we couldn't, I couldn't come up with the money for that semester. So they went ahead. And of course, I was, I was disappointed to say the least. But when I actually got there the following semester, the blessing in disguise was that I had friends who already made or you know, infiltrated social circles. So it was easier for me to be introduced to people. They already had the textbook. I was able to, to get into that. And because of when I started school, I was able to take a semester off um, to start my engineering training even before I graduated. So sometimes you aren't able to appreciate these types of experiences until in retrospect. Now, becoming successful requires you to value you. So value your service, your product, your time, your investment. It's human psychology, you may or may not know this, but it's human psychology to associate price with quality. So add tax to your worth. Um, don't be shy of taking credit for the things that you've done. Be aware of your imposter syndrome, especially as young women. You know, you belong at the table. You deserve a seat at the table. You have something to contribute. Someone once asked me, you know, what's the best and worst thing of about working with so many men because I just happen to be the only female in my group. And I said, well, the best thing is that I never have a line for the restroom, which is, just happens to be true. Um, I just said that jokingly, right? But, you know, working with men is great. You do sometimes have to contend with egos, but I don't want you to see it as, whether it's in TAM CC or whatever your next step is, I don't want you to see it to see it as a battle of the sexes. Just know that although that you're different and your mindset and your approach to problem solving will be different, appreciate them for what they bring without belittling what you can do. Now you'll seldom hear this one when given advice about success, but I would say be soft. We have this perception of perseverance and perseverance isn't always about the grind and the grit and the harshness and toughness required to push through and break barriers. Um, when we define something as strong, we, we tend to think rock solid and stiff. But life and chemistry has taught me that sometimes strength is displayed in being malleable. Now, I'm not asking you to compromise your core values, but what I think would do you a world of good is for you to be flexible. You know, accept when things are out of your control. For me, I always have this internal struggle as to when do I call it quits? When do I say it or admit that I've been defeated? Um, when do I admit that I've bitten off more than I can chew? And this is something that each of you would have to define for yourself. We all have different pain thresholds. We can all tolerate different things. And even if you are fully prepared to take one road, you have to be able to change course and adapt. That's how civilization survive, that's how businesses today survive. And I know that we sometimes feel like we're relinquishing our power whenever we 
show the slightest vulnerability, but it isn't so. It's actually empowering to be authentic. And there is no shame in admitting that you don't know. And actually, more than 50% of finding the right answer starts with asking the right questions. And lastly, I'd say that I do believe experience is perhaps the greatest teacher, but not every experience needs to be your own. You don't need to experience every negative thing to understand that it's bad. Be curious about things, yes, but don't knowingly put yourself into compromising situations. If you want to know about the likelihood or the outcome of something, please feel free to uh, read about that. Now our outlook and how we view things are important. For instance, there are two concepts when it comes to time, or approaches to time, where we can look at it as one more day of life is one day closer to death, or one more day of life is one more day of living. And both are indeed true. But the one that you decide to focus on would influence how you structure your life and what you choose to spend your time on. I think I've surpassed my lot of time on this stage a long time ago, but I'll leave you with these words from said guru. Do not seek success, just seek competence. How to enhance yourself to a higher level. If you are in a great level of competence, wherever you are put, you will in any way succeed. If you are enormously capable, if you grow yourself into a certain dimension of capability, success is not even a goal in your life. It is something that just follows you wherever you go. Thank you, Ms. Grant. We appreciate all that you have shared and all that you will continue to share with our achievers. And we trust that they would etch your words of encouragement on their hearts and they will revisit them as they continue to better their best. <laughs> Class of 2022, how do you feel? Are you ready to transition from graduates to graduates? Somebody said no? Turn to the person next to you and ask them, how do you feel? Turn to the person on the other side and ask them, are you ready for this? Well, we have to hold on just a little bit. Now we invite our pan orchestra to share with us some sweet, sweet pan music after which some of our graduates would share a dance. Sit back and enjoy.
the H.D. Batiste Memorial Trophy for English. The recipient for this award is Gabriella Alert. Award, the Diane Marshall Holden Memorial Award for the best 
mathematics achiever. This this award goes to Angel Augustine. Our third award, the Joanne Comijon Memorial Award. This award goes to the achiever who has contributed most to the life of the school. Our awardee is, our awardees are, Javel Alexander. Shonika Philip. Maisha Lake. And last but not least, Jamelia Nicholas. <laughs> Deacon Byron would like to thank you for assisting with these awards. We would now like to call on a member of the governing body of the school, Ms. Judy Benoit, to assist with the following remarks. The Bernadette Francis Memorial Award. The first for food, nutrition, and health goes to Kelana Noel. The second for family and resource management goes to Angel Augustine. The Unit Steel Memorial Award for Music. The awardee, you would have seen her on stage earlier. This award goes to Kayla Murray. The Jerome McBarnett Memorial Award for Public Speaking. This award goes to G.L. Patterson. We would like to thank you for spending up for assisting with these presentations.
Moving along, we'll now call on Archdeacon Michael Marshall, who will present the following awards. The Ruth Rawls Award for Literacy. This award goes to Gabrielle Alert. The Clement Francis Award for All Round Excellence. This, these achievers, sorry, have exemplified the ideals and philosophy of Anglican education. The awardees are Azalea Renault. And last but not least, Kidiona Barry Charles. Thank you so much, Father Marshall, for presenting these awards. We would now like to call on our dear Miss Mason Francis to assist with presenting the following awards. Ms. Mason Francis will be presenting the G.E. Mason Francis Award for Academic Excellence. This achiever has excelled throughout her entire school career. Before the presentation, Ms. Mason Francis would like to say a few words. Mrs. Mason Francis will present first. The achiever receiving this award today is Angel Augustine.
AHS graduates, you are the product of the third oldest secondary school in Grenada, which came into existence in 1911, 1916. The second oldest, the Grenada Boys Secondary School, came in in 1885, and the St. Joseph's Convent, St. George's, the first in 1875. Anglican High School family. The fact that you are seated in this auditorium today indicates that you are the family. The graduating class of 2022, you are the most important people here today. And to you, I direct my words. And I want your undivided attention. Are you familiar with the words? Why all you old people didn't say quiet, hush all your mouth, and give young people a chance? I hear it pretty often. Sometimes I am very amused. I am proud to be among all you old people a proud 82-year-old woman. When I listen, when I listen to death news, I hear of young people in their 20s, 30s, 40s. Some boys I taught from GBSS and some girls from Anglican High School. Death has no age limit. We old people are supposed to be a legacy to you on which you build to make sure you leave a worthwhile legacy for the coming generation. AHS always high standards. I am afraid nowadays I see these standards fast disappearing. My award is for the student who exemplifies excellence in everything. From the time you enter the Anglican High School till you leave, you are expected to achieve certain things. This student must also exhibit excellence in her conduct, her deportment, and her general behavior. But academic achievements are second to these. As is usual, I would like to make a special appeal to this graduating class. The emphasis on this era seems to be the number of subjects you offer for CSEC. The more, the merrier. I employ you, I employ you to achieve real success in your lives. You have to add some more ingredients. You must learn to be humble and not arrogant and boisterous. Pay attention to your speech, your deportment, your manners. Be well-mannered, respectful, and courteous. Be kind, loving, and lovable. Remember, if you are thinking of two careers in particular, anything to do with medicine or education, you have to make a lot of self-sacrifice. And you are dealing with people's lives. You make them live, you give them life, or you kill them. You must possess leadership qualities. 
You must be women of substance and women of quality. Always bear in mind, a leader is always the servant of the people. He or she leads, but they are the servants of the people. In chapter 6 of the book of Micah, verse 68, we are told, What does the Lord require of you? And the answer, to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. Young ladies, as I move out of this world, I welcome you. The world is in your hands. Oh, yes. God bless you all. Mrs. Mason Francis will also assist with the Madeleine Batiste Award for Excellence in Social Sciences. This award goes to Ayana Maureen. This award is for the students who would have performed outstandingly in pure sciences. The awardees are Naomi Osford, Also receiving this award, Jelani Lashington. Thank you so much, Miss Friends. Miss Kim Paris, our principal, to present the following award. Principal's Award for Diligence in Spite of Daunting Circumstances goes to Maisha Link.
Ashanti Sinbernard. Oksana Aliyan. Javel Alexander. Jolene Gill. Sherry Bowen. Amanda Jeremiah <laughs> and Kelshana Joseph. Thank you so much, Ms. Paris. And we now call on one of our favorites, Mr. Dominic Jeremiah, to assist with the I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. <laughs> we would now call on Mr. Dominic Jeremiah. He is the president of the Principals Association to assist with the following awards. But yes, Mr. Gasford, you're one of our favorites. <laughs> The award for the third place at the 2022 CSEC examinations goes to Winade Garway. Moving on, we would like to call on the driver of PAG 965 to relocate, please. PAG 965. The award for the second place at the 2022 CSEC examinations goes to Angel Augusta.
And the award for first place at the 2022 CSEC examinations goes to Kelana Noah. Thank you so much, Mr. Dominic Jeremiah. Now we will call on Mr. Dominic Asper to present the Mr. Gasper will be presenting the Sir Paul School Memorial Trophy, which is an award for the most outstanding house in all areas. We would like to call on Ms. Bernal Chison, a member of the Guy House, to the City of the Missouri. And we would now like to call okay. So we would like to thank Mr. Gasper for assisting with this presentation. Okay. So we would like to thank Mr. Gasper for assisting with this award. And we would now call on one of our graduates, Sherry Bowen, who wishes to make a special presentation. Sherry Bowen will no longer be making that special presentation. <laughs> so we will now move on to Mr. John. Thank you very much, Ms. Halibar. And you've been saying thanks all morning, so I'd like to thank you for being here and presenting our special awards. And I'd like to invite back to the podium my co-star for this segment. Put our hands together, welcome Ms. Smith. First I was a bit nervous standing next to Ms. Smith. Then I remembered I will hold it up. I remember that I'm at the Anglican High School and I'm surrounded by beautiful women every day. Yeah. We'll now be distributing our graduation certificates. It's an honor to stand before this graduating class and I can attest on behalf of myself and Mr. Gaspar. These are our last students. The girls sitting in front of us now, they were my last form threes and his last form fours. Please join us as we celebrate the following students. Miss Leah Braveboy. Yeah. 
This is two years in a row. I think I'm going to be fired from this job now. <laughs> Once again, I have forgotten to call the person to give the award. <laughs> Emotions would do that to you. Please welcome our school's manager, Archdeacon Michael Marshall, who will be distributing our certificate. Now, let's celebrate Leah Braveheart. Next, we celebrate Miss Jalen Jones, and she will be receiving the awards. For, she will be receiving the following awards. The Dominic Gasper Award for a 10th CSEC in CSEC 2022. The Louis Alexis Archery Award for the Most Outstanding Achiever in Tennis. The Kamoy Edwards Award for Excellence in French. The Dr. Alexis Award for Modern Languages. The Grace Norville Award for French Orals. The Serona Abraham Award for French. The Rachel Lewis Award for Spanish, the Spirit of the AHS Award, and the Most Outstanding for Service to School. We celebrate Shona Reed. We celebrate Angel Augustine. Angel needs to be receiving the Compton Award for Executive School Ethos, the Colin Francis Award for Literacy and Unity, the Knoxville Charles Award for Most Outstanding Achiever in Information Technology. The Edriel Helena Award for Textiles, Clothing and Fashion. The Grace Norval Award for French Awards. The Sarona Abraham Award for French. The Fiona de Raveny Award for Excellence in History. The Spirit of the AHS Award. The Jason Douglas Award for Excellence in Physics. The Marsha McDonald Award for Most Outstanding Performance. The next celebrate my favorite drama student, Iana Saint Bernard. Next up, also receiving the award for Spirit of the Ages, Nadia Marie Harry. Thank 
Dr. Mulsan Moses, who is receiving the Val Galassi Award for All Grown Improvement, the award for most academically improved, and the Life of the House Award from Progress. Next up, we celebrate Natalia Onda. We celebrate, we celebrate Trishel Wallace, receiving the award for most academically improved. Next up, let's celebrate with Ashel Richards. Also receiving the Spirit of the HS Award, Kenaya Mumbrey. practicing for quite some time. Let's celebrate with Francis Peters Power. Francis will be receiving the Fiona de Rabide Award for Excellence in History as well as the Spread of the Ages Award. Spirit of the EHS Award, Kiara Pink. Next up, join me in welcoming Ms. Novia Lyons. Ms. Lyons will also receive the Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Eagles, the Edriel Helleva Award for Textile Clothing and Fashion, the Grace Novel Award for French Orals, the Spirit of the EHS Award, and the Marsha McDonald Award for Most Outstanding Performance in Family and Research Management. Next, we celebrate Tasia <laughs> Bailey. Join me in welcoming Ms. J.L. Patterson. <laughs> J.L. will also be receiving the Fiona de Rabadier Award for fourth place at CSEC. Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Eagles, the Dr. Alyssa Peters Award for All Classes in Sciences, the Lena Lousy Award for Most Outstanding Ranger, the Grace Novel Award for French Orals, the Sarona Abraham Award for French, the Health Link Award for Fortitude and Sports, the Life of the House Award for Gowrie House, the Spirit of the EHS Award, and the Nerissa Celestine James Award.
Next, we celebrate Shania Felix Charles. Let's still celebrate with the Christy Kenny. The Christy will also be receiving the award for most academically improved. We also celebrate with Kimberly Smith Heavily. Also, with Miss Delaney Lassington. <laughs> Delaney will also be receiving the Fiona de Ravenny Award for fourth place, CSEC 2022, and the Dr. Alyssa Peters Award for classes in all sciences. <laughs> Mia Matthews. She will be receiving the following awards. The Janelle Vivek Harbin Award for 8th in CSEC Examination 2022, the Sebi Greenwich Award for Food and Nutrition, and the Spirit of the Asia Award. <laughs> Malika Marisho. Next, we celebrate Lanasha Woodrow. She will be receiving the Shadi John Award for Dedicated Assistance, the Health Link Award for Fortitude and Sports, and the most outstanding for service to school. Let's now celebrate Ms. Javel Alexander. Yeah! Javel will also receive the Kareem James Award for most outstanding in sports and the Life of the House Award for Bigger House. Next, we celebrate Toria Mitchell. We celebrate with Kashida Richards. <laughs> Kashida will also receive the most outstanding award for service to school. Next, we celebrate Tashana Clark. 
She will be receiving the Gloria Lambert Award for the Most Outstanding Achiever in Netball and the Most Outstanding for Service to School Award. Next up, we celebrate Kayla Murray. <laughs> Kayla will also be receiving the Shamika Street Award for Technical Drawing, the Grace Novel Award for French Morals, the Sarona Abraham Award for French, the Spirit of the AHS Award. celebrate Kalana Noel. She will be receiving the Camille Tonkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos, the Judy Thomas Award for Excellent Performance for Geography, the Grace Novel Award for French Orals, the Fiona de, de Ravenne Award for Excellence in History, the Spirit of EHS Award, the Chanel Fleming Award for Most Outstanding Business Studies Student, and the Decima Blake Thomas Awards for first place for principals of a college for CSEC. Before we continue, we we'll drive off PAU 162. We need your vehicle removed immediately. PAU 162. We continue our celebrations. We'll celebrate with Ms. Shakira Roberts. Shakira will also receive a great of the HS Award. The Sade John Award for Dedicated Assistance, the Helena Lewis Award for the Most Outstanding Achiever in Basketball, the Award for the Most Academically Improved, and the Most Outstanding for Service to School Award. Next up, we celebrate Deandra Ventu. Next, we celebrate Krista Jeremiah. I'd like to invite our district education officer, Mrs. Colleen Eva Marshall, to assist us with the next few certificates. Our celebrations continue. Ladies and gentlemen, join me, join us in celebrating Rohana Ali.
Fieldgreens, Amanda Jeremiah. celebrate with Azel Simon. Azel will also receive the Edwell Helicon Award for Textile Clothing and Fashion, the Health Link Award for Fortitude and Sports, the Life of the House Award for Walter House, and the Spirit of the NHS Award. Next, we celebrate Nicola Gittins Garcia. Celebrations continue with Anika Matthew. She will also be receiving the Marshall McDonald Award for Most Outstanding Performance in Family and Resource Management. Let's celebrate Kenya John. We celebrate Alana Thomas. Celebrate Let's continue our celebrations. We celebrate Makita Kito. Celebrate Daniel Matthew. <laughs> Daniel will also be receiving the spirit of the HS award. We celebrate Kayla Hassan. Let's celebrate Gideona Barry Charles. She will also be receiving the Edwin Hennigan Award for Textile, Clothing and Fashion, the Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos, and the Spirit of the Ages Award. We celebrate Crystal. Let's 
celebrates Naisha Link. <laughs> Naisha will also be receiving the Justine Lewis Award for sixth place at CSEC, the Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos, the Dr. Alyssa Peters Award for Classes in All Sciences, the Grace Nobel Award for French Awards, the Health Link Award for Fortitude and Sports, the Spirit of the EHS Award, and the Nerissa Celestine Award. <laughs> Celebrate Brianna Douglas. Next up, we celebrate Gabriella Gill. We celebrate Ayanna Maureen, who will be receiving the Spirit of the NHS Award and the Nurse of Celestine James Award. Next up, we celebrate Javern Cador. Next, we celebrate Adiva Gilbert. Desiree Patrick. Next, we celebrate Brianna Frank. Let's also celebrate Miss Anik Isaac. <laughs> Anik will also be receiving the Risa Williams Award for 8th place at CSEC, the Dr. Alexis Award for Modern Languages, the Fiona de Ravenne Award for Excellence in History, and the Spirit of the EHS Award. <laughs> Next up, we'll celebrate the Kayla Latouche. <laughs> Celebrates Elizabeth. <laughs> we celebrate Zaria Hippolyte. Celebrate Angel Andrew. We celebrate Akima Modesto. Lashona Phillip.
Let's celebrate Kenasha Lewis. <laughs> Kenasha will also be receiving the Spirit of the HS Award. Celebrate Renee Garley. She will be receiving the following awards the Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos, the Cassandra Alexis Williams Award for Top Performance in Textiles, Clothing, and Fashion at CSEC Examinations, the Edriel Helga Award for Textile, Clothing, and Fashion, the Lena Lalsi Award for Most Outstanding Guide, the Dr. Oyaranke Alexis Award for Modern Languages. The Grace Norval Award for French Orals, the Health Link Award for Fortitude in Sports, the Life of the House Award for Garway's House, and the Spirit of the AHS Award. Let's welcome Therese Thomas. Therese will also receive the award for most academically improved. Celebrate Tanika Thomas. We want to thank and we like to, we would like to welcome the president of the PTA, Mr. Monty Greenwich, for the following set of kids. Celebrate Kartisha Alexis. Celebrate Ebony Francis. <laughs> Ebony will also receive the March McDonald Award for Most Outstanding Performance in Family and Resource Management. <laughs> we'll also celebrate Rianne Antoine Dial. Also be receiving the Dr. Alyssa Peters Award for passes in all sides. We celebrate Oksana Amin. She will be receiving the award for most academic award. Celebrate Jolene Gill. We celebrate Celine Regis, who will be receiving the award for the most academically improved. We 
Let's put our hands together as we celebrate Maria Trotman. We celebrate Samika Miller. So celebrate Tamisha McKenzie. We celebrate Gabriella Warren. Let's celebrate Abby Williams. Next name, let's celebrate Brianna Jeffrey. We celebrate Naraya Victor. As the celebrations continue, let's welcome Ashanti St. Bernard. Jamelia Nicholas, who will be receiving the following awards. The Linda Victor Award for the most outstanding achievement in yield events. The Health Link Award for Fortitude in Sports. The Kieran James Award for most outstanding in sports. The Life of the House Award from Walton's House. And the Spirit of the EHS Award. Let's now celebrate Naomi Hosford. Naomi will be receiving the Hazel Jeremiah Award for 7th place at SUSEC, the Dr. Alyssa Peters Award for Pastors in All Sciences, the Spirit of the EHS Award, and the Decimal Blake Thomas Award for 2nd place in Principles of Accounts. We celebrate upon a Neptune. Celebrate Shamika Stafford. Let's celebrate Gabrielle Alert. Gabrielle will be receiving the Antoinette Lewis Award for 10th place at CSEC, the Camille Tompkin Award for Exemplary School Ethos, and the Spirit of the Ages. Celebrates Kayla Frederick. We 
now celebrate Akea McLeod. Celebrate Rayanne Worm, who will be receiving the Spirit of the AHS Award. We celebrate Sherry Bowen. Sherry will be receiving the life of the House Awards, the Bertrand House, and the Spirit of the NHS Award. We celebrate Dania Delves. Celebrate Nia Antoine. We also celebrate Adira Gilbert. Also celebrate Ruana Williams. <laughs> Ruana will also receive the Decimal Blake Thomas Award for third place at Principles of Accounts one season. We celebrate Kamaya Moraine, who will be receiving the Spirit of the EHS Award. <laughs> we now celebrate Vernique Lewis. <laughs> Vernique will also be receiving most outstanding service to the school. Shamira Mitchell Richard who will be receiving the Marshall McDonald Award for most outstanding performance in family and resource management. Let's celebrate Tiana Marshall. <laughs> Tiana will also receive the Semi Greenwich Award for food and nutrition. Celebrate Kelshana Joseph. Celebrate Alicia Paul. She will also be receiving the Dr. Alyssa Peters Award for Passes in All Sciences and the Spirit of the AHS Award. We celebrate Janessa Frank. Last, 
certainly not least, let's celebrate Jordan Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the graduating class of 2020. We thank Mr. Gillis for his service. And before we leave, the driver of PE23, PE23, we need you to remove your vehicle. No. Final bit of business before we head out. The Alliance Francais is gracious enough to donate a special award for French. So the following ladies, if you look into your bags, you'll see a gift from the Alliance Francais. Those by you who you are. Jalen Jones, Angel Augustine, JL Patterson, Ayla Marie, Bernard Gawi, Elona Noel, Aisha Ling, and Anita. Isaac, each of these receiving a special award for French from the Alliance Council. Thank you very much. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Mr. John, Ms. Helga, and Ms. Smith. We now invite Jelani Lashington to share with us a poem. Followed by Jalen Jones in song.
more time for Jelly. We all need to know. I told you, the girls of the HS never cease to amaze us. <laughs> we are all participating in the relay of life. The question is, who are you passing the baton to? And I repeat, we are all participating in the relay of life. The question is, who are you passing the baton to? Maisha Ling our past head prefect would now deliver her address. Help us welcome Maisha.
Thank you for your support you provide to us, us your daughters and your wards. An opportunity to an opportunity to obtain an education is like bestowing onto us a treasure chest of precious gems. To my peers, whom I have the honor of referring to as graduates, I salute you for your tenacity and thank you for your support, long-lasting friendships, fun times we shared, and fun times we shared from Form 1 to Form 5. As we exit the physical walls of the AHS, I charge all students, particularly the Form 5s, to study hard, have a balanced schedule. Remember, though things may seem difficult, don't give up, because the closer you are to your goals, the harder it can feel to carry on. But persevere, for you will undoubtedly better your best. To the newly appointed head girl, Sean Lin, there is a quote that says, success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. This role isn't, go isn't going to be easy, but must I remind you that difficulty does not mean impossibility. Despite our three years setback of COVID-19, we were still able to achieve success as we overcame the pirates that attempted to plunder and loot us. We have proven the merit of this infamous quote. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that comes. To the graduates, I say in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King, now let us begin. Now let us rededicate ourselves to the long and bitter but beautiful struggle for a new world. To each graduate, this new world looks vastly different. So I implore you today, look from the decks of this great ship. Ahead lies land for you to discover and conquer. May Jehovah bless us all. Thank you, Rangisha. The Anglican High School family wishes you the very best in all your goals, and we say thank you for your dedicated service. It is with pleasure that I invite the graduating class of 2022 to share with us in song for one of their last times as a group. This year, the class will be singing A Million Dreams by the Greatest Showman.
Thank you, lady. As one great leader leaves, the con must take her place. It is our honor to present to you our head prefect of the Anglican High School, Sean Lynn Nicholas.
today I begin my speech with an excerpt from a song by the McLean sisters titled Rise. Ever lift your head up to the sky and find yourself asking why? Never see them as why with the hardships of life. If it is where my heart is, let energy replace my doubts. All of my trials get the best of me. I'm marching forward to my destiny. I am beyond grateful and honored to have been given this prestige opportunity to stand before you all as the 2022 head girl. Graduates, I speak to you today based on the team achieving success through perseverance, progressively bettering our best. When held stagnant by a wall of post view, how do you get around it? Do you give up at the start? Do you await an open door? Or do you think of possible solutions to go around it? Various walls and blockades may build up in your life's journey, but the ability to reconstruct these walls is what will allow you to be victors and captains of them and future generations. As you continue to persevere and showcase your talents, let a woodpecker be figuratively synonymous to aspiring the goals you have made for yourself. The spirit animal that will persistently stare your life and those that surrounds you. We cannot conquer blockades unless we are faithful. Graduates, in the words of Roy T. Bennett, your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life. Keep going. Tough situations build strong people in the end. Be also directed by the words of our Father, God, and I quote, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith produces patience. From the book of James chapter 1 and verses 2 to 3. Be confident also that Yahweh, as father and king of your life, there is no blockade that can be dissembled. Have courage, fervor, and conclude that no blockade can subject you. Today, it is with cheerful pride I congratulate the class of 2022. Your hard work and commitment, despite challenges, has yielded you great results. We are here to honor your success. You are present today to gain the great fruits in which you have a stay. Today, I would also like to express my gratitude to Maisha, our outgoing head girl, for executing her duties with diligence and bravery. Despite your emotional setbacks, as head prefect, you never strayed away from your duties, but stayed headstrong ensuring that the prefect body was always functional. You taught us that your strength is truly admirable and your intelligence really sets a mark. Congratulations on a job well executed. On behalf of the prefect body and myself, we promise to continue the always high standards of the school. Graduates all at the AHS there is an unspoken sisterhood that we must continue onwards as active members for the rest of our life. Though you may physically depart from the AHS building, I ask you to show both love, support, prayers, and acknowledgments to the principal and staff of the school for nurturing you for the new role ahead. Thank you to the teachers for being mentors, stewards, and role models to each student at the Anglican High School. Your achievements today wouldn't be possible without their stalwart efforts put forward. As you pursue your future academic endeavors, let our school's motto resound in your spirits and minds. Factor non verbal deeds, not words. Thank you.
Your task is great, but your abilities are greater. We are certain that you positively influence the legacy of the agents as we do. As we remember the days that are gone, we invite our graduates to stand and sing the hymn on leaving school, after which they will remain standing. Just as you are. Take your right hand, hold your tassel. It is my profound pleasure to invite you, the achievers of the graduating class of 2022, to turn your tassels as you transition from graduates to graduates of the Anglican High School. Achieve success, persevere, and progressively better your best. Turn your tassels. And welcome to the past pupils of the Anglican High School. And as we prepare to bring the curtains down on our 2022 graduation and award ceremony, I now invite Angel Augustine to express our gratitude. Thank you. Is the best prayer that anyone could see. I say that one a lot. Thank you expresses extreme gratitude, humility, understanding. Alice Walker. 
A pleasant good afternoon to our most valued guests, management committee, worthy teachers, parents, well-wishers, media representatives, my dear friends, and everyone gathered here. It is my privilege to propose this vote of thanks speech and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked extremely hard to make this celebration happen. I, Angel Augustine, on behalf of the Anglican High and the entire fraternity of this institution, first and foremost, would like to begin by giving glory to the Almighty God for allowing today's graduation to be a resounding success. As Ephesians 5 verses 20 states, giving thanks always and for everything to God the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, with his blessings, and grace, we made this event what it was. On behalf of my school, I extend a hearty vote of thanks to our chief guest, Ms. Roselle Grant, who spared time from her busy schedule to grace the occasion. Today, we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts, and this will surely be going to encourage us in our future events. Your thoughts have enlightened us, our minds, and have shown us a new path. Mr. Beto, Mr. Vito, sorry, and family, and the staff of the Trade Center, thank you. I am immensely thankful to Mrs. Shamika Street for her efforts towards anchoring today. I also extend thanks to all the staff members for their enormous cooperation in the organization of this event. My gratitude to the Venerable Michael Marshall for the opening prayer, the distribution of certificates, and benediction, Ms. Judy Benoit, Deacon Samuel Byam, Mrs. Glenda Mason Francis, OBE, Mr. Dominic Jeremiah, and members of the Steele, Mark Burnett, and Francis families for the distribution of awards. Mrs. Carleen Avon Marshall and Mr. Monty Greenwich for the distribution of certificates. Past teachers, pupils, and friends of the Anglican High School who are present, those viewing online, and all who contributed to the purchase of trophies and awards. An event like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels started rolling months ago. It required proper sorry, planning and a bird's eye for details. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of very proactive and dedicated staff of this institution who are well versed in their job. I am short for words for their involvement and their willingness to take on the completion of tasks beyond their comfort zone. A special mention to our respected principal, Ms. Paris, for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do our best and stand as pillars of strength. With a deep sense of appreciation, we thank our loving teachers for their untiring efforts. I also want to thank the people who worked behind the scenes to make this event happen the technical arrangement team, and all the musicians, including Mr. Cordell Harley for his assistance with steel pan practice. Our sincere gratitude goes to all parents and well-wishers for your rock-solid support system and encouragement. With your support, we were able to achieve excellence. Thank you so much for attending this event. Last but not least, a big thank you to each one of you, our distinguished guests, who made this day memorable to all of us. On behalf of my school, allow me to thank all the students. Without us, today would not be possible. Starting is easy, finishing is hard. We have completed this chapter of our lives. Congratulations, my fellow graduates of the class of 2022. We did it. Thank you, thank you Angel. I now invite our graduates, staff, students, and past pupils in the audience to stand and join in the singing of the school hymn. This can be found on page six of your booklet, following which the Archdeacon would give the benediction.
Sorry, before we sing the driver, PAG 444, you're required to move your vehicle, please. PAG 444. Two, say to you that as of January 2023, the religious instruction periods, they all will be filled once more by the visiting denominations and of course led by us as Anglicans. Mm -hmm. We have had that break period, we've had the inconsistent moments in the past two years in particular, but we have met as a team and religious knowledge, our instructions will be in full swing again, beginning the new term. Thanks be to God for that. Very important element in the development of young minds. And to my dear graduates, may God's blessing follow you all as you find your journeys to travel. May you walk safely along the pathways of your dreams. May his gentle hands guide you. May his gentle hands soothe you at times when there are difficulties. May you hold his hands and walk. May his gentle hands guide your decisions you will make and the passions that you follow. May your hearts and lives always reflect his love and truth. And may hope be a light within you that you carry into each new day. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Rest and remain with you always. God bless you. So the audience can sit and the girls will remain standing. Class of 2022.
When you leave this place, do not forget the reason for which you came. To all our guests, thank you for coming. Get home safe. Happy holidays and best wishes for a bright and prosperous new year. We will now witness the recession of the graduates.